went to what is the was once the largest resort in Poland, now uh, one of the largest refugee centers, and we were with 700 kids. These are these are foster kids. These are orphans, orphans. who, you know, within the span of hours from Odessa, had to get on um, trains, buses, cars, and travel 40 hours to this little farming community, really outside. Middle of nowhere. Outside of Warsaw, a heart wrenching. I mean, honestly, they're offering us. Yeah. A granola they gave bars. Her granola and, bars. The um, little boy. He. We said no, it's okay, and he oh, insisted on giving it to us. So sad. Um, and these kids have no idea. Like no idea. They want to go home. Their parents. Some of them, the foster kids. Their parents are still at home. Vulnerable families, vulnerable, substance abuse, hard lives before they, this ever happened. Yeah, you think about sort of they were ripped from their families, uh, you know, without their parents, they're not living with their parents anyway, and then war breaks out, and they have to leave the country. And it was so interesting to me, they were speaking Russian, because yeah, they're from, from Odessa. Odessa. So, so it's they're, they're, they're speaking yeah. Russian, and it's the Russians who have, who are, you know, destroying one of the most beautiful, okay, Odessa, in the last 24 hours has been quiet, but a few days ago, it was seen bombing these spectacular mythic buildings in the land of fairy tales getting bombed by Russians. It, it doesn't make sense, mm -hmm. or never does. I'm just reading, though, about the fact that Putin is losing this propaganda war at home. So uh, this can go anyway. His, oil, his well-oiled machine, even the people of Russia. Well, it made me wonder, shocked. you know, being in there with all those kids, just their lives uprooted anyway. How would it go over in Russia if the Russian people knew that, that 700 kids were forced to flee in the middle of the night, flee the bombings, flee everything they know to, to, the middle of to nowhere, cross into said. Poland uh, in, the middle of the night. in the middle of the night and they're in a, in a country that they're unfamiliar with. And that's the tragedy in all of this. The people of Russia will never know this because of the media blackout, uh, because of the propaganda, the systematic removal of the truth. They're absolutely never going to know this. And if they do hear about it, it will be so twisted that it will bear zero resemblance to the truth. Very grim day, I would say, in, in, in English lit class in university, they called it pathetic fallacy when the weather reflects the mood. Mm -hmm. And I think today that's the truth. Uh, this gray day here. The, the sky was very ominous. And it was, we it, just, we're, uh, as we're driving up to that uh, refugee center in Osa, um, the sky was so ominous. It felt like some sort of, you know, Shakespearean tragedy. And I guess on that scale, it is a Shakespearean tragedy. Sure is a tragedy. These are kids from 3 to 16, um, the little babies as the organizer said, they don't know what's going on, but the, the kids we just chatted with, they know. What about Katya? I or asked Kate. Katya, yeah. Kate, she wanted to be called Kate, Kate. and I said, what, what, what's happening in Odessa for you? And she said in her broken English, Putin wants to kill humans.